Hey guys, Pavelo here. In this video, I want to show you the progress we've made in the first week of the Ultimate Coder Challenge, an online competition organized by Intel and Microsoft. We at Zemba are one of the eight teams selected to participate in this challenge in the world, which consists of developing a commercial virtual reality app within eight weeks. Um, so our app is uh, called Zemba Sky and it is an interactive environment to teach coding and computer science in virtual reality. So let, let's have a look at what we have here in Unity. Um, basically, this is what happens, right? Humans learn in their environment. We are hardwired to learn from our social environment, to, uh, to survive in nature. And when you are in a, in, a, in a natural environment or a social environment, you get instant feedback of the things that you do. For example, if you touch a snake, you're going to get beaten. That's bad. Uh, but when people are learning uh, more abstract concepts, such as computer science, it is sometimes a little bit hard at the beginning to get that direct feedback to see if you are doing things right. Uh, once you learn enough and you start making games or programs or websites, uh, you do get instant feedback. But uh, it is that basic grasp of the concepts that we've seen that some people struggle with. So our application is um, it aims to create a virtual environment where that people can interact with and that will uh, help you learn computer science. So this can this is geared towards um, both adult learners, self learners and also schools, like high schools. Um, great. So I'll show you what we have for week one. And please bear in mind that this is a prototype. We're still testing different game mechanics, different uh, application mechanics. So the one that you're going to see is uh, basically the player, the user is immersed in this world and you can add commands to certain objects. Uh, we still want to develop a couple of other prototypes just to see which one can help us um, present the concepts in a better way. So um, you might see a bit of a change in the upcoming weeks because we, I still want to explore a couple more options before sort of really creating all the content or the, the, the different modules on one particular mechanic. So let's go and have a look. Okay, so um, what I've got here is um, a world with not much really in it. It's all very um, conceptual at the moment. We are going to have really cool environments with um, probably like alien plants and some other stuff because you're, like, you're exploring as uh, an alien planet while you're solving these challenges and learning coding. Great, so what I'm going to do now is um, select one of these objects and I want to move these, these uh, blocks. So I'm going to select the move command and then I'm able to select which axis that's going to that's gonna move towards. And um, at the moment, I don't have the, I, don't, I haven't installed the virtual reality keyboard or some other easy way to enter numbers. So for now, I'm just going to have to type a number. So I'm going to go and write, uh, let's say one. And then I can add that command to my program. So I'm creating this program in here and I can go and I can add other commands to that program. And then what we can do is execute the program. So when I execute the program, the cube is going to do all of the instructions that were given to it. And the idea is that you'll be using something like this to solve puzzles um, so that you get familiar with concepts such as variables, variables, conditions, methods, Boolean logic, um, and possibly we might explore other other areas as well um, within uh, Turing machines and uh, image compression, binary numbers, and uh, some other stuff. As long as we can fit it into a mechanic or a, a style that is uh, engaging for the learner and that can be mapped to different computer science curriculums. All right, well, that's all of our progress for the first week. It's been very intense and we look forward to add a lot more things to this and to try some other mechanics. So uh, stay tuned and don't miss on the next uh, update.